everyone welcome back i hope you're all doing well so i've come down to the plot today i had planned to possibly put the polytunnel up but i generally think it's just too late now i feel like it's so windy today um that it's just such a risk to try and get it in the ground at the moment and the weather's looking what's the word it's really unpredictable for the next coming weeks and i'm just worried that i'm going to spend all this time putting it up when there's other things to do i don't know if you can hear that wind um and then it's just all going to come back down like two days later so um what i'm going to do today is i'm going to focus on what i call the scrap yard which is at the back and it is just filled with stuff that was left here when i took over but i think could get use out of stuff that people have given me um that i thought oh we can keep that in the future um and i just want to kind of get it clear because it's starting to look a little bit messy now so while it's kind of like windy there's things in the ground just kind of doing their thing i thought now would be the perfect opportunity where i've got a spare kind of morning to try and get that done so I'll quickly show you what the rough plan for it is um, and then we'll go from there. So fingers crossed you can hear me okay with the wind. I have remembered to charge my mic today so um, fingers crossed that will help. But this is the area that I want to try and get as cleared as possible. So I took all of the tulips out of here and I'm going to take this pot and it's going to go in my fruit cage for one of my berries. Can you hear that wind? going to be a fun day um and then i want to get this pot kind of somewhere else what i need to do is remove all of this put it into that pot move the pot and then put it all back in again um but i don't think it'll be too much of a an issue and then this is the barbecue that was left here when i took over um what i want to do is is actually take this part out um, and make it like a cleaning station. So I've got some spare wire. Um, I've got like loads of little pieces of this. So the idea is that I'll put it across and then I can use it, every, it to clean everything before I actually leave the plot. Because the kitchen gets a little bit dirty um, when I return home with a harvest. So we'll see how that goes. And then um, these blue pots, I just wanna, the blue bins, um, I kinda need to check, double check what's inside them. And then um, if needed, I can either get rid of them um, or put them into the shed as storage because everything's kind of in bags at the moment. And when I move stuff, it all kind of falls down. So they'll be perfect to put in there. And then I just need to go through this as well. Um, this is going to be left till last because it'd be the most fiddliest job. And I kind of know what's in there anyway and it blocks this section off so not too bothered about it i just need to repair this side bit um, and then things like these plastic tops they'll all go into the shed if i've got time today i will clean the shed as well um just give it a really good brush it's getting a little bit mucky on the floor um and the shells are getting a little bit disorganized again so yeah this is kind of today's plan is to try and get all of that sorted uh, what I may do is just quickly move this, the archway, put it somewhere else and then use this as kind of as like an area where I can kind of keep stuff just for now um, and put it in there and hopefully it might deter some of the weeds on the ground as well. So how much footage I'll get today I'm not quite sure given with the wind um, and the tripod isn't that sturdy um so we'll see how we go um this may be a video this may not fingers crossed it is because i can't wait for you guys to see the um transformation i feel like it's going to make the space look so big um and then it'll be a really nice seating area for the summer as well just when i'm here and i just want to chill out a little bit so yeah let's crack on Bye. <laughs> 
now move it roughly. So what I don't want to do is take out too much because I've got to bring it all back over. So what I should be able to do is just kind of swivel it over to the fruitcake. She says, well, I don't know how easy that is actually going to be, but we'll go for it. Oh, easier than I thought. Okay. So this is the pot that I actually broke in half and I think I'll keep this and I'll get rid of this one. So already a million times better. So I've just removed the tops and I've put everything over here that I kind of want to get into the shed. So what I want to do with the pots and the holders and things is put a shelf in here in the long run and then keep all like pots and things like that that don't need to really be too watertight um, or that take up a lot of room, they can go in there. So I'm just gonna try and go around and take up some of these really big ones um, with the big roots. And I've tried to cut these down before and they nearly destroyed my strimmer. So I don't really wanna try that again, just in case. Um, and then I'll go through, I might even take this pot out first and then go around. Cause I know a lot of these, these plants here are under there as well. So yeah, let's do that first. Okay, so nice big cut down, that's fine. I'm gonna get some bamboo screening to go along here, I think. Um, and then I may even do some raised beds um, and actually bring them quite high and kind of put maybe my herbs and things in here just because they're at the back, but I'll have a little think about that tonight. So what I wanna do is just quickly, while I've kind of got a little bit of extra time is take the screws out and just take this big bit out. Um, I forgot my screwdriver, but I have got these. Don't try this at home, probably not the best, but got to use the tools I've got, so let's go for it. Okay, so I've managed to get it off, a lot easier than I thought it would be, and I've just used a spare bit as like a tester, and I think it should be okay. So what I'll do is I'll do a couple of lines down, and then I'll do some across as well. And when I do that, I'll kind of cross them over, just to help give a little bit more um make the holes a little bit smaller so you can kind of see compared and i think that should work better worst comes to worse i know there is a smaller version of this in b and q so i'll just go and pick that up instead alternatively i can just use some of that blue netting as well because it, i think it'll be thick enough to just let some of the um especially when the mud, it's basically just to get the mud off. So when the mud's wet, it should just seep through, it should be fine. Um, so if worse comes to worse, and I don't really have the money to buy anything more um, at the time, I'll do that, I think. Next up, I'm gonna start taking some of the bits out from the shed and just kind of see what different bits that I've got so I've taken this bag out because it's just full of like rubbish bags that were left here and I can't bear to just throw plastic bags away. So um, that are perfectly good. So I'm going to try and take some bits out, put them in there um, and then I can easily stack some bits in here um, a little bit nicer. So I haven't just got bags everywhere of stuff that I don't really know what's in it. So um, 
things that I'm not really using at the very moment can kind of go in these boxes. Um, and at least then when I do need them, they'll be easily reachable. Okay, so I've put the bag that was in this shed already in there, in the bottom one. And then all my pots have gone in the top one. So that's neatened up the shed a little bit more as well. Give me a bit more room, which is nice. Um, and then a lot more room here. So what I'll do is, I think that's going to have to be it for today. So I'm just going to quickly tidy this bit up. Make it all nice and neat. So then when I leave, I've got a good starting point for next time I'm here. So I'm not sure if it's going to rain or not. It does look like it's going to, but I never quite know whether it will or not. So I'm going to go around and give everything a quick water, just a little one, because um, the ground is quite moist still from the rain the other day. Um, so it should be all right. And then I'm just going to go all to my father-in-law's plot as well. And then, yeah, nice productive day. I didn't get much as much done as I thought I would, but I still got quite a lot done. So looks better than it did before which is always a positive so thank you so much for watching guys and have a lovely week take care bye